Hello and welcome to this next tutorial in making a text-based game in Python. So this time around we're going to look at having an inventory item. So an inventory in most games is the ability to pick things up, put things down and carry them with you whilst you're playing the game. So to do that we're going to use the Python structure of a list as it allows multiple items to be added and even of different data types which can be very handy. So to start off, I've given the adventurer a basic a venture pack of a knife and some cheese. Next, we define our first room of the game, which I've called Start Room, and I've set the scene and said that they've seen a gold coin on the floor. And I've given them a choice to pick it up with either yes or no. If they say yes, we call this new um, subroutine that I've um, programmed called Add to Inventory, and we send it um, the string coin. Now the add to inventory subroutine is quite simple. Um, when we call the subroutine we send it the string value of coin, it gets picked up in the parameter item and then we can go the name of the list which in our case is inventory so these have to be the same um, and we use dot append and that basically will add whatever item is passed into the subroutine into our inventory. So in other words, they will now have a gold coin in their inventory as well. So depending on what they choose, we then go to the second room because, you know, this is not indented inside the else. So this will then execute whether they've chosen to add it to the inventory or not. We go to the second room and here they're at a black river and they can choose either to have a look in their inventory or not. If they choose to look in their inventory, so the answer is yes, we go to the print inventory subroutine. And here I've just used a for loop to go through the inventory and um, print it out, you know, what you've actually got, which is kind of handy. So the way this works is for i in inventory, print i, i starts at zero. So it will be the zero position in the inventory. So knife will print first, then it will go through the loop again, and it will I will be reset to one, and the um, oneth index position in the inventory is cheese. So cheese will print. Then it will go through the loop again if you've added the coin, and it will then print the coin out. Then I take them back to the um, subroutine second room again. So. If they decide not to have another look in their inventory, they'll carry on and I've got an if else check here and I'll say if the string coin is not in the inventory, so if they don't have the coin added to the list we've created up here, um, print the ferryman refuses your passage, which is fair dues, you haven't paid him. Um, else it will print that the ferryman takes a coin and invites you to board the ferry and that is the end of this very small adventure game. Um, again, as with all the other videos, this is merely a proof of concept which you can then develop on in your own adventure game. So this does give the functionality now to um, add items that the adventurer can pick up. And if they don't have them, you know, you, maybe it's a key, they can't go through a door. If they do have them, obviously you can let them through the door and then you can jump to another subroutine um, and another sort of scene in your adventure, depending on whether they do or do not have an item. Um, in the following video, I'll also show you how to remove items from the list, from the inventory. Um, so again, you know, if they've given the coin away, then, you know, you need to take that obviously out of the inventory because they don't have it anymore. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you next time.